What's up party people? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the cheapest lawnmower I could find on Amazon. And I had a few criteria for this. Number one, it had to be 18 inches wide at least. And also it had to be available for prime delivery because what's the point if you don't get prime, okay? I'm gonna put a link to this down below in the description if it's worth anything, we'll see. By the way, this was $89.99. Let's take a look at what we've purchased. Hand Power Domination by Remington. I don't know where this was made. This was made in the great state of China. China. The great state of China. So we can only assume that this is the highest of quality of products. Anyway, let's dig into it. I don't really know. Hopefully this is in good condition because obviously this thing has been retaped and you know, I don't know if it came from China like that or what, but it came from Amazon like that anyway. Or it came to me like that, I should say, from UPS. Looks like everything's okay. thumb. Careful kitties. Yeah boy. Normally I would just throw this away but I guess I'll take a look at it. Ain't nobody got time for directions. So all I gotta do is assemble the handle pretty much it looks like. I went with a real mower is because I have a small patch of grass out in front of our house here that is going to be need um, to be maintained throughout the winter because I planted rye grass there. Our regular grass for the rest of our uh, yard just becomes dormant and doesn't grow for the entire winter. But I'm going to maintain this just so I can keep it nice and green and pretty out front. And apparently from what I've read, rye grass does best with a real mower. So we'll see how this works out. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the base of the handlebars are not even. I went to put this on and this is, this one is basically at, I don't know, a 20 degree angle and this one's at a 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna bend these back real quick. And the handle doesn't even really, I guess you fully connect on a permanent way just kind of goes on these nubs which then gives you all of this movement so I guess it's not really going to come off but and then it's got a catcher on here but I'm not going to use this catcher because I want the mulch to go back onto the grass oh I should point out before we mow the grass that it does have height adjust adjustment on each side and you can adjust the height from three quarters of an inch cutting height to two and two and a half. Yeah, three quarters of an inch to two and a half inches height. So we literally just had a tropical storm pass over us about 30 minutes ago. So these are probably terrible conditions to mow your grass in, but I don't care because this is when I have time to do it. So this is when I'm gonna do it. Let's see how it does. Okay, so, okay, apparently something got hung up 
in the blades because it wasn't wanting to move forward. And I just realized that my handle bar is on upside down. Much better. So far, I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. The only thing you do have to take into account with a real mower is that, you know, with a regular lawn mower, for one thing, you're not even knowing where the blades are, so you're, you're looking at where your grass is being cut, but you can't help but on here want to assume that you're cutting from here to here, but you're not. You're cutting from here to here. So, you know, you're losing four inches of cut between the overall outside width of your wheels and even if you go by the inside which is what I was kind of doing I wasn't even paying attention to the cut I was paying attention to the lawnmower and you know from the inside of your wheel to your blade you're losing mm, maybe an inch and three quarters right there so so that's something to take into account whenever you are mowing because I noticed that I was leaving strips behind and I couldn't figure out why that's why So my initial impressions are that this does really well on ryegrass and I've got a mixture of some Bermuda and everything out here. I'm gonna go over to this other little patch over here real quick just to see how well it does on a thicker grass because I hit a couple thick patches and it struggled just a little bit but that may have just been because there was a variation in speed on my part. Let's check this out. Okay, so in this really thick grass at this height, yeah, this is uh, <sighs> no bueno. So I'm gonna lift it up and see how it does because it's just, I've just got it set too low, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's anything with the lawnmower. Okay, I've got it set to two and a half inches now. Let's see how it does. So raising it up definitely helped, no issues now. The only issue that I would say there could be with a real mower is um, the dreaded yard cigar or yard yam, if you will. You don't wanna break one of those open because I don't know what would happen if I went over that with this. With a typical mower flings to the side, you got a cover, there's no cover here. You could have particulates flung to your face. You wanna mow with it and see how it works? Here, I'll hold your, I'll hold your uh, radio. Okay, watch out for the yard tater there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, just push forward. Keep it down on the ground, oh, there you go. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, I just need you to finish this other half an acre and then when you're done, come get me, okay? Okay, push. <laughs> You're too little. There you go. You got it. Good job. Hey, Madison said she wouldn't finish the yard. Will you finish the yard for me? Nope. Huh. What are my final thoughts on the Remington 18 inch reel mower? 
Well, thought number one, I didn't check this ground before I laid down, and hopefully there's nothing brown and squishy underneath me. Thought number two, I've come out here lots of times with my girls at night, and if you take a flashlight and put it beside your eyes and look around at your grass, it looks like you've got glitter out here. And it's actually spider eyes reflecting back at you. So uh, yeah, there's that. But getting back to the mower, for $89.99, I think this thing did fantastic. You could see there was a couple spots where I went back and forth, and that was because there was bahia grass, and it just kind of wanted to lay over, but eventually it would cut it. It did beautifully on the rye grass. On this, uh, this is kind of a combination of Bermuda and, and other grasses over here. This was a lot thicker, and so, at the low height, it couldn't, it had a problem with that. But once I put it up to about two and a half inches, it did beautifully. That's what you do with a normal mower anyway. You wouldn't want to cut this too low. So I think it did great. Uh, if I hit a twig or something, sometimes it would get caught up in the um, reel and I'd have to back up and get that out. And that was the only issues I had with it. Overall, I'd give this five stars. I'll put a link in the description. And if you like this type of content or any of my content, wherever I build, do epoxy, work on my uh, trailer conversion, please like, comment, and subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, spiders.